is slowly slowing down. So we need to get it right. Cutting through inflation isn't always easy. It's pushed bank rate to a 16-year high of five and a quarter percent. And though the bank didn't cut rates today, they did signal that they were heading down soon. Reducing interest rates will have a massive impact on our business, uh, a massive impact on all small businesses. I don't know. The rest, I, I think it, it might take a week, but yes. Mike Williams and his father co-founded Flake Bake more than a decade ago. Today, they produce 20,000 patties a week, selling to restaurants, cafes, and even the supermarket chain Aldi. I think as a business, ideally, we'd look for interest rates to, to come down. You know, it stayed the same today, but we would love for, to see interest rates going further down in the summertime. Yo, yo, slow and on. Slow and on. The bank's new calculation suggests its inflation target of 2% may have already been met. But as the year goes on, inflation rolls up too, up to 2.6%. But then by the end of the forecast, the bank thinks we end up being left with inflation at just 1.6%. The governor also gave his verdict, acknowledging that interest rates could afford to be cut in the coming months. Governor, today you said the risk of inflation is receding. Yes. Put simply. But let's be crystal clear for people at home. They will want to know if that all goes to plan, is an interest rate cut <laughs> in June, isn't it? They'll be rejoicing that news. Look, uh, we are not at that point. Um, there is a lot of good news. Um, first of all, you know, I think we're going to know tomorrow actually, but I think we've, you know, the, the, the fairly mild recession that we had in the second half of last year looks like it's, it's over. That's good news, obviously, in itself. Secondly, how long's the hangover from the inflation, the you know, really bad inflation that we had, you know, year two years ago? We've Although now had some alka salsa. We're doing okay. <laughs> it's bubbling away. It's bubbling um, away. And we've taken a view this time that, based on what we've seen and are seeing, that we think it's going to be less than we thought it was. Now, that's good news, but that's a judgment. I think we're on the way, but we're not going to say it's do it's done for June. It's because it isn't. It, it really isn't. You understand that for mortgage borrowers, for businesses who are ha really yeah. hanging on to hear yes. everything you say now, yeah. Yeah. they're trying to make annual yeah. plans. It's very difficult yeah. for them. What they need to know, and is our objective and our remit, is that we're going to keep inflation out of the target on a sustained basis. That's what is the most help if you're doing a business plan. But, if you, but, but people will be scratching their heads if they look at your own forecast, because according to your own forecast, not only do you meet the inflation yeah. target, you actually yeah. fall yeah. below it. So, so w what does that mean? Well, what we're saying is, if it comes to pass, because all our forecasts are conditional, they're conditional on all sorts of things. If it comes to pass, this is what we, our best judgment is that's going to be the path. And as you say, that leaves inflation below targets. And we would obviously have to respond to that as well. Let's be clear what on that. So we have the very the judgment we have to make is Do you accept that whatever you say, whatever your efforts, it is inevitable that the decisions you make in the next six months are political? But we have a remit that applies at all times. We're an independent institution. It is, it is quite clearly not consistent with our duty to come along and say, you know what, we're going to take a break and, and not do anything but for But do you long. accept that it, it, it's inevitable that those decisions are political? I'm sure. Even I'm if, sure if you, you don't want will, them to be. Well, I'm sure our decisions will get discussed extensively. Um, but I will repeatedly say it is our duty to take those decisions. It's our duty to take them independently. It's our duty to take them consistent with our remit. And we will do it. Well, what about the standing of the Bank of England? The fan club for the bank seems to be shrinking all the time. Uh, Mervyn King says you've already uh, tarnished your record. A former Fed chairman says you have uh, papered over significant problems with your models. These are your friends, by the way. These are insiders. Are they wrong? I, I know our job is to hit the, is to. Yeah, meet our remits, whatever the times. Sometimes will be more difficult than others. The last few years have been difficult. I used to work for Mervyn King. I have great respect for Mervyn King. Does it disappoint you that he says well, these things? Well, I would then? say this. I've, I've gone back and looked at things. But yeah, Mervyn King had to deal with the inflation that we had after the financial crisis. And inflation got to over 5% at that point. Okay, it's not been as big as the shocks we've had to deal with in the last few years. 
you know, I remember in 2011, he said ex almost exactly the same thing that we have been saying, as to why it was sensible to bring inflation back to target gradually, why it was insensible not to have a deep recession in this country, why it was sensible not to in you know, essentially push unemployment up very strongly. So do you so reject some exactly of those criticisms he that he's made? Well, he said exactly the same things at that point. Bailey and his team have faced an avalanche of criticism. But if they deliver the promise cuts this summer, their popularity could be set to rise. Not just with businesses like Flake Bake, but also with the denizens of Downing Street so keen to prove the economy is turning a corner.